Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. In a sit-down interview with TV5, Governor Whitmer reflected on the past year of the pandemic. She commented on her controversial economic strategy of curbing the pandemic, saying, quote, we saw our death toll climbing. We had to be aggressive and we had to take action. She also says she hopes with vaccine production ramping up, we'll be able to get back to normal soon and that we all need to make sure family and friends get vaccinated. Michigan lawmakers now revealing nearly $700,000 worth of separation agreements or legal settlements doled out over the past decade. This comes after Michigan Republican lawmakers criticized Governor Whitmer over severance payments to top officials. The details of the 30 separation agreements since 2010 are confidential and have not been made public yet. Well, tonight, the governor is asking you to turn on your lights in memory of those we've lost to COVID-19. Now, one year ago today, the first case of the virus was diagnosed in Michigan. The governor says the lights should remind us that even in the darkest times, we're in this together and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. That's why from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., the governor says turn your lights on. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Other uh, Colette looks like a pretty nice day ahead of us today. A little cloudier than we have been the last couple of days, but still warm temperatures should be around the low to mid 60s this afternoon in many of our southern locations and then to the north just a touch cooler in the 50s. I think we've got one more warm day ahead of us that is very similar to where we've been so far this week. Friday, not a bad day and still above average, but a little bit cooler than where we have been. And over the weekend, we'll see the 40s return on Saturday and Sunday. Your first one five sky tracker showing you an increase in cloud cover this morning. Any showers that are showing up on radar likely aren't reaching the ground. However, we still have some showers to the west and a few of those may clip some of our western and northwestern counties today, but a smaller chance for a few of those showers. As we go into the next 24 hours, we'll likely see those rain chances expand a little bit off to the east as we go through tonight. Even though it's not showing much here on the model, I do think we'll still see some scattered showers at times this afternoon and those showers will become a little bit more widespread late tonight and into the first half of your Thursday as the cold front gets set to cross the area. I think after that cold front passes by, the clouds will clear out. We'll have a chance for a little bit of sun as we end the day tomorrow and then a pretty nice day as we go into Friday and also over the weekend. Some 40s return over the weekend, but still pretty nice. Very similar to last weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.